Today, I'm going to be busting 13 of the most crazy myths in the Roblox Heroes Battlegrounds Halloween update. Miss like, can you use death emotes on the Namu boss battle? Custom codes that give you free emotes and even secret characters inside of Roblox Heroes Battlegrounds. But smash the like button and hit subscribe. And let's start off with the first myth. And this is probably a myth that a lot of you guys probably know already. You could unlock the admin Gojo moveset from an NPC in this map, which if you look over there, that's the NPC we need to talk Hello to there. right there. But if you don't know what the Gojo moveset is, this Battlegrounds games has probably one of the coolest Gojo movesets that not only has super overpower moves like blue, infinity, slap, and a combo move, but also its own Gojo Awakening. And apparently, according to this myth, we can use this Awakening in public servers if we go talk to, where is he? That little Gojo over there. But just look how cool this Gojo ultimate mode is. Like, literally, I can open up an unlimited void and, uh, you know, uh, completely destroy this weakest dummy. Oh my gosh, bro, what is going on in my screen right now? I can barely see. Okay, check this out. Like I said, this uh, this Battlegrounds game has uh, one of the coolest Gojo movesets I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. But now that I've showed you what Gojo looks like, it's time to see if this Gojo NPC can actually give us the Gojo moveset. Let's see how lucky we can get. I don't know what the odds are on getting this, but I've definitely heard before, and I've said in videos before that you could unlock the Gojo moveset from talking to this guy, but I've never unlocked it before, so I want to see if it's even possible to unlock it. All right, Gojo, give me the move set throughout heaven and earth are you alone the honor one i am he said better luck in 24 hours bro okay so i did not get it but let's see if anybody else has gotten it on youtube okay so it looks like uh a lot of people have tried this and wait did he get it no he i don't think he got it wait so literally i cannot find a single example of somebody getting it maybe there's like a badge on the roblox game page that shows like how many people have won this award let's see wait it says epitone of strength is this the award right here unlock the strongest for 24 hours one in one million three hundred fifty thousand chance bro only 12 people have ever unlocked this what ever the? oh my gosh this badge is the most rare badge i've ever seen in my entire life well i guess this myth is real but there you have a one in one million two hundred fifty chance of actually getting it so uh the odds of you actually getting the gojo moveset from talking to this guy are very low but i did learn something new if you do get it, you unlock it for 24 hours. That is extremely overpowered. But all right, let's move on to the next myth. And the next myth is this. You can use Private Servers Plus to get mastery for movesets. And I'm not gonna lie, this one sounds like you shouldn't be able to do it because you can't use Private Servers Plus to defeat the Namu. But according to this myth, you can level up your mastery character just by using Private Servers Plus commands. So let's try it out. All right, so I just joined the server on my alt account. And on this account, I do not have the Awakened Hero or green, green Hero moveset. If I go ahead and enable Private Servers plus turn the game oh i have to buy private servers plus bro dang it bro r.i.p my robux but if i go ahead and put up my game speed multiplier super high and turn on no cooldowns oh my gosh i'm so fast then i should be able to talk to this person which is the quest giver do the destroy 12 trees option and i should be able to literally just destroy trees super fast. Yeah, look at this. This is literally cheating. I'm able to do these quests super fast with this private servers plus option. Wait, dude, I'm literally gonna get done with the first quest like right away. Yep, I literally just destroyed all of the trees right away. Quest complete. That took literally under two seconds. But yeah, if you didn't know, this is actually how I unlocked the movesets uh, on my main account too. So yeah, this myth is super overpowered, but let's move on to the next myth. So the next myth is this. As you can see, I have a kill streak on this account. Apparently, there is an emote that changes if you have a kill streak or if you don't have a kill streak. And that emote is the lifting weights emote. But the only problem is I'm on my alt account and I literally only have one emote on this entire account. Bruh. So it looks like I'm gonna have to get a kill streak to test this myth on my main account. All right, but the emote that we're gonna need to use is actually called the bench press. This one right here. And as you can see, if we use it right now, we're just bench pressing pressing a ton of weights and uh if we want to up our weights we're gonna need to get a kill streak because apparently getting a kill streak makes this emote way cooler so uh let's let me go ahead and get a kill streak real quick
Yo, let's go! Give me my ultimate mode! Oh my gosh, let's go. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> I'm going off right now. All right, I almost have a 10 kill streak. I just need to kill Mr. Noob. Okay, there we go. I have a 10 kill streak now. Oh, wait, it only says nine. What the junk? Thank you, bro. I just need one more kill. By the way, shout out to Alpha One. He is helping me get my kill streak because literally everybody in the server is running over here to try to kill me. All right, there we go. I got a 10 kill streak. But all right, now that we got a 10 kill streak, let's test out if this emote changes. Let me go ahead and use the bench press. Let's see if this looks. Yo! Look at the bench press emote now. Oh my gosh, this thing looks insane. We're literally bench pressing black holes instead of just regular weights look at that it's the same exact emo as before but we've got black holes all right this is pretty awesome this is pretty sick oh my gosh now let's move on to the next myth because these myths are actually pretty crazy so this next myth says that if you go over to these uh these players over here which is the all-time leaderboard they should have health yeah there's their health and you should be able to hit them to build up your ultimate all right let's see if this works wait whoa it's actually working. We're building up our ultimate mode bar just by hitting them. Bro, this is so weird. Okay, it looks like I can't use a lot of my moves on them, but I can punch them. And I can't build up my ultimate mode in the same way that I can build up my ultimate mode against a dummy. This is sick. Guys, if you ever just want a free ultimate mode in this game, just go beat up these guys standing over here. Oh my gosh, that actually works. I had no ultimate before that, and now I've got some ultimate mode built up. So that myth is proven to be true. All right, but let's move on to the next myth. And the next myth actually takes place in this little door over over here so let me go ahead and run over to this not a spooky hangout over here this is not a spooky hangout not a spooky hangout bro i have a feeling that this might be a spooky hangout i'm not gonna lie all right let me go ahead and knock on the door let me in let me in um okay there's actually two myths inside of this spooky hangout but we'll start with the first one if you punch the jukebox it will play music all right let's test this all right all right punch Punch, punch, bro. Why is nothing happening? What if I, what if I use like a stronger punch move on it, bro? Nothing's working. Nothing's working, bro. I, I, I don't think that this myth is true. Unless I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. Comment down below if I did it wrong. But wait, what? Who's here? Yo, Mr. Noob. Mr. Noob, punch the jukebox and see if it plays music. Don't punch me. Punch the jukebox, Uber. <laughs> he said, "Come, okay." No, 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 Yo, no, 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 no. yo. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Yo! Wait, wait, wait. Did you just break the jukebox, Mr. Noob, really? Well, that myth is proven to be false. If anything, we just broke it. So, the next myth inside of this hangout is actually... There's a secret wall combo inside of the hangout. He's telling me to go over here? Okay. Is this where the secret wall combo is? Wait, what? Yo! There is a secret wall combo, bro. He literally just wall combo me against the freaking computer monitor. What? Wait, is there is there any more? Yo, these are crazy. Wait, what is he doing? Bro? What, what, <laughs> what are you doing over here? Yo! <laughs> Well, I guess that myth is true. There was a secret wall combo. We literally broke the computer monitor. And I guess this one might be secret too. Wait, does this work too? Is there is there is there a wall combo? No? Okay, I guess not. But it does seem that there's a bunch of secret wall combos inside of here. And I think that this might have been one too. So that's two myths. Both inside of this one little not a secret hangout. That was actually pretty sick. All right, ow. Why did you just try to punch me? Why are you looking at this little tiny mushroom? Actually, hold on. This just gave me an idea. There is another myth in this game that there is a code that gives you three free emotes called code 100k let's see if this works something went wrong you've been given three redeemable emotes instead wait i got three emotes wait what emotes did i get what the heck wait that that actually just worked bro how did that that actually just worked bro how, how did that work i have so many emotes in this game i don't even know which ones are new so let me try this on my alt account and see if i could redeem these emotes literally on an alt account with no robux all right i'm back on my alt account but apparently if i do exclamation point code 100 k i should get emotes yeah there we go i just got emotes oh my gosh wait let's see what these look like we got dunked touchdown and then also money all right this is the dunked emo okay that's sick we got the touchdown emo where you spike the football and do a little dance oh my gosh yeah the football is bouncing too and then there's even the money emo dude this is sick we literally just got all these emos for free with that one code that's pretty awesome all right but the next myth is this you can make custom character vfx with color codes in this game Apparently, if you look up on YouTube, like different characters like that you want to become, you can choose a VFX color and it will look exactly like that anime character. So let's test this out. All right, here it is. This will apparently give us JJK themed characters. Yo, 
Cursed energy. What is that? Okay, that's actually insane. I, I, I need to test this out. And then there's one called Black Flash. Yo, that's crazy. Wait, what move is that? This is the number that you need to use. And then it looks like this is the ultimate mode. So I think that the character we need to use is the Hero Slayer. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then we need to change our effect color in settings. Oh, I have to buy VIP. No! There goes all my Robux on this account. But I can make an effect color. And I'm supposed to put in 220000. So 220000. Okay, there we go. Now that I have these moves, they should start to look a little bit like a black flash yeah look at this dude that is pretty insane this definitely looks a lot like cursed energy but i actually don't have the awakened version of the moveset which is what he's using in his video but if you had the awakened version this is what your black flash move would look like with this color code right there look at that that looks actually just like a black flash holy crap and yeah there's a lot of other characters that you can do too so this move is proven to be real that's pretty sick but all right let's move on to the next myth and the next myth also involves the hero slayer moveset apparently you can use infinite ultimate mode with the hero slayer so let's test this out all right let me go ahead and uh give myself my ultimate mode really quick all right there we go let me activate this let's go and then let me go ahead and spawn in some dummies all right let's test this out apparently if you get a kill with this move set it will give you your ultimate mode back right away so let's see all right let me just kill this dummy really quick get out of here that didn't do what i thought it was gonna do hold on uh i'm killing them but i'm not i'm not getting any of my moves back uh oh all right i'm gonna use my number four move and this is the move oh my gosh wait a minute it just put my ultimate mode way up oh my gosh what was that why did it just do that holy crap it just put my ultimate all the way up but then it went down super quickly i think that that myth might be partially true but i don't know if you guys saw that my ultimate mode went down super fast after i did it so i mean i, I would say that this myth is kind of true it did build my ultimate mode back up like really far but it went down super fast so technically it was like the same amount of time so i'm gonna say this this uh this myth is proven to be false or if it's not false it just it's just not very 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 useful but all right let's move on to the next myth and both of these next myths involve the candy from the halloween update which you use to unlock super cool items so apparently doors give you more candy than killing players so let me go find a player to kill really quick see how much candy i get from that and then compare it to a door around the map where you can go trick-or-treating and i'm actually going to change my moveset to the green hero so let me go ahead and get a kill and see how much uh ultimate mode that gives me one two three hit him with a texas chain boom boom wah, boom get out of here where you going goober one two three detroit smash that's right you, you're gonna die here soon you're gonna die here whoa he just teleported one two three delaware get out of here oh my gosh i'm destroying this guy and my moves look like black flashes too which is really cool all right ow he just countered me all right one two three detroit smash and how much candy did that give me that gave me two candy now let's go trick-or-treating and see how much candy a door gives me oh there's a door right here perfect let me go trick-or-treating let me in give me all your candy oh it's a furry let me just give me all your candy so i got two candy from killing a player and i got oh my gosh i got like five candy from that so that myth is just proven to be not true oh my gosh wait let's see if this one gives me five candy too maybe the doors give you a different amount of candy or a different amount of candy every single time you go to a different one yo why is mr noob inside this door what the junk oh no that gave me five candy too okay you definitely want to go and go for doors instead of uh trying to uh go and fight players you get way more candy by finding doors but all right this next myth is also another candy myth and that one is finishers give more candy so let's go find a player to kill with a finisher real quick all right, one, two, three. Hit this goober like that. Go boom, boom. There we go. Where you go? Where would you go? Come back here. One, two, three. Boom. And wah, boom. Oh my gosh, I'm destroying this guy. Ah! Oh, he left the game, bro. Why did he leave the game? All right, let's see if I can hit a finisher on this goober. Boom! How much candy did that give me? 28, 29. Oh, it did not give me extra candy. Bro, what the junk, bro? This myth is also false. I guess the best way to get candy is really just by trick-or-treating on doors around the map. All right, but the next myth is you can send the Namu to the moon using the secret warp portal moveset, which I actually need to get on a different account to use because I have not unlocked it yet on this account. All right, I should have it on this account. There it is, the warp 
portal moveset with this moveset i should be able to bring the namu to outer space to the moon but i need to go ahead and give myself my awakening first and now we can go ahead and spawn in the namu boss which actually i want mr noob in the server because the namu boss is super annoying to fight all right here we go i'm gonna spawn in the namu here we go 485 robux and let's see if we can actually bring the namu to outer space oh no there he is he's coming down right now the halloween namu boss battle all right little namu goober what's up what's up little goober what's up ow okay i shouldn't have done that nope nope you're not gonna hit me like that nope we're gonna do that we're gonna do that we're gonna do one two three boom there we go we're gonna do some damage on him one two three all right now we're gonna run because that does damage look at that we've already done damage and let me activate my ult combo because this is actually how we're gonna bring him all the way to outer space into the moon bro is he still trying to hit me right now are you kidding me i'm too strong i'm too strong oh no 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 one two three boom okay now i'm gonna use this move right here called starburst and this one should take him to the moon come on please work please work please work yo yo wait oh it worked it worked oh my gosh oh my gosh come on come on get him 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 ow, 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 ow. reality barrage come on come on get him yes yes bro it's working oh my gosh wait what about this move crush can i use this yo i'm destroying him on the moon right now bro there's no way there's no way and then let me go ahead and do this move again really quick too as well bro I, i'm actually doing so much damage reality collapse that's right i'm a collapse reality on you Nami. wait where did he go he's back over here and yeah look at that we are literally able to bring him to the moon all right that's actually kind of sick dude i'm not gonna lie all right but now that we've done that it's time to move on to the next myth which which is also a namu myth but we need to kill him because apparently you can use death emotes on the namu and uh okay i have my acid kill emote which is what i want to use on the namu now we just have to defeat him all right get out of here get out of here namu ow portal punch that's right get out of here get out of here ah! let me go ahead and absorb a tree really quickly there we go and then we'll shoot a tree at him watch this okay ow you know what Let, let's go ahead and just hit him around the map really quick <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this move set's so funny. All right, now Mr. Noob's comboing him up. Mr. Noob, try not to hit a finisher on the Namu so I can use a death emote on him when he dies. Or at least try to use a death emote. All right, the Namu's starting to get really low. We just need to hit it a few more times. All right, let me go ahead and teleport him around the map again. That's right, you can't hit me when I do that. He's so low. He's so low. We just need to hit him a few more times. All right, come on. Just punch him. Punch him. Be careful. Oh, my gosh. One, two, three. Boom. There we go. Wait, Namu defeated. Let me do the death emote on him. Him. all right acid kill yo wait what it worked we just we just burned the namu we just burned the namu oh my gosh let's go i did not think that you could actually use a death emo on the namu but if you enjoyed the video smash the like button hit subscribe for more